we will gather all the facts and evidence um, by way of phot uh, photographs, videos, uh, speaking to people who were there, uh, and then we'll probably approach um, legal counsel and um, advice as to where we can go from here. But we will not we will not sit down quietly, not for what they did today. This was the response from Bar Council President Karen Chia when asked about the next course of action after police blocked lawyers from marching to parliament in their walk for judicial independence. Chia said that they would definitely be taking the matter to court. She stressed that the police had failed in their statutory duties to facilitate the march, as well as possibly committing an unconstitutional act by restricting their rights to freedom of assembly. She added that the Bar Council, as organizers of the march, had fulfilled all conditions under the Peaceful Assembly Act, including to notify the police within the stipulated time. Earlier today, hundreds of lawyers gathered for a march against alleged attempts to undermine the judiciary at the parking lot of Padang Merbok, near Parliament. The walk was in response to MACC's investigation against Court of Appeal Judge Muhammad Nazlan Muhammad Ghazali after a politically linked blog claimed he had unexplained wealth. However, the lawyers failed in their attempt to march to parliament as the police had blocked the road. Deputy Minister in the Prime Minister's Department Mas Ermiati Samsudin, who was initially expected to receive a memorandum from the Bar Council at Parliament, instead came to the scene and met with the lawyers. She apologized for the difficulties and pledged to forward the Bar Council's memorandum to de facto Law Minister Wan Junaidi Tuanku Jafar and Prime Minister Ismail Sabri Yaakob.